Dear colleagues, here we are presenting the new developments and the latest data about the interaction between the external exposome, microbiome, and the epithelial barriers. After the Industrial Revolution, living beings faced many hazardous effects, climate change and global warming, loss and change of biodiversity, change in the microbial composition of the microbiome, alterations in the dietary habits, and exposure to environmental substances such as particulate and gases pollutants, airborne pollen, detergents and household cleaners, microplastics, and tobacco are all affect our epithelial barriers. Recently introduced epithelial barrier hypothesis proposes that exposure to significantly changed exposome by modernization, industrialization, and urbanization directly damages the epithelium of skin, lung, and gastrointestinal tract, initiates an inflammation, and alters the structure of microbiome. Activation of the epithelial cells and release of epithelial cytokines such as interleukin-25, interleukin-33, and TSLP, followed by type 2 inflammation, play major roles in the development and exacerbation of allergic diseases presenting as atopic dermatitis, food allergy, allergic rhinitis, asthma, chronic rhinosinusitis, and eosinophilic esophagitis. In the gut, leaky epithelial barriers and microbial imbalance may contribute to the onset of many chronic autoimmune and metabolic diseases like diabetes mellitus, obesity, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and ankylosing spondylitis. Moreover, defective epithelial barriers have also been linked to neurodegenerative and psychiatric diseases such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, autism spectrum disorders, and chronic depression. To conclude, we can say that leaky epithelium and impacted immune regulation in the affected organs influence the development of a chronic ongoing inflammation. Thank you for listening.